It's T A with M K. It's T A with M K. Hello there, thank you for clicking on the video. I just want to give you a quick heads up that the price predictions in this video for this coin are based on a formula that I came up with. I'll leave a link in the description to that video where I discuss more in depth how I came up with these numbers. Just understand that in this particular video, we'll just be discussing the price predictions, briefly touching on the formula, but again, the more in-depth analysis of exactly where I've come up with these numbers and percents are all going to be inside of that video. Watch that first. Come back, watch this. Jasmi, Jasmi, Jasmi. The coin we'll be talking about in today's video is Jasmi, ticker J-A-S-M-Y. Looks to be a Japanese coin if what I'm seeing in front of me is correct. Our brothers from across the sea. Now the question that I'm sure all of you have, if you've invested or have any Jasmi, can it reach its previous all-time high, which I believe was just under $5, or is something a little bit lower, more realistic? We're gonna do our best to dive into that today. Let's go. You guys know the drill. Before we can apply this coin to my formula, we need to gather a little bit of information. So we're going to start out here on CoinGecko.com. I've looked up the coin. What we want to write down is its position rank, which is currently position number 104 at the time of making this video. We want to write down what its circulating supply is and its max supply. And if those numbers differ, we need to do a little digging and find out if there's any token unlocks coming up or any mining going on, just to get an idea of what the circulating supply will be at or around the time that we plan on selling the coin. Now I have a few go-to websites for this my typical one that I bring up in the videos is cryptorank.io I'm over here right now and all it really tells me on here is that the max supply is of course 50 billion and the total supply 50 billion but what's currently circulating is about 48.42 now I did a Google search and I don't know if this is this is just from coin gecko it says the maximum supply of this coin is capped at 50 billion the supply of Jasmine coin is expected to be fully vested by the 31st of January 2025. Back over here on CoinGecko.com, we can see that the circulating supply and the max supply don't differ by all that much. And if I were to be holding this coin, I would probably try to sell it sometime um, after 2025. I think this bull run goes a little bit into 2025 personally. So we're gonna go ahead and just use the max supply of 50 billion uh, for my formula for today. And then if you look over here to the right, this will be the formula that we're using for today's video. We're just taking the market cap divided by circulating supply and that gives us a price. Now this is not any formula that I made up. This is literally just how you can see where they get the price for these coins. If you take whatever the current market cap is for the coin you're looking at and you divide it by that circulating supply that you can get from like CoinGecko or coin market cap, then that gives you what the current price is. And all that we're doing is taking it a step further in this video and we're taking these hypothetical market caps that are based on different Bitcoin prices and the potential ranking of where the coin could end up. And we're plugging that into the market cap, dividing it by the circulating supply and then that's giving us the predicted prices. Now, as is customary in my price prediction videos, I will do the first one for you and then just you know present the data for the rest. Now, if it were to remain at position 104, what I've done here on this chart is I've broken down the average of position 101 through 110, and then of course, given these market cap projections. So the first one is 1.48 billion. We're gonna go ahead and type in 1.48 billion. And we're gonna go ahead and divide that by the circulating supply, which is 50 billion. And that'll give us a price projection of 0 0.0296. And now I'll just go ahead and present that data for you. Now again, if it stays put at uh, position 104, we have at 91K Bitcoin, a projected price of again, 0 0.0296. At 100K, we got 0 0.0326. 115k 0.0376 and 130k 0.0424 with an average price of 0 0.0355. Now, if it were to go all the way up between position 81 and 90, I took the average of that as well. And 91k Bitcoin would have Jasmine up to 0 0.0434. 100K would be 0 0.0478, 115K would be 0 0.055, and 130K 0 0.062 with an average price of 0 0.052. And if Jasmine were to go all the way up between positions 61 and 70, then we have at 91K Bitcoin projections of 0 0.0716, at 100K 0 0.0788, 115K Bitcoin would put Jasmine at 0 0.0906, and 130K would be 0 0.01024. Average price, 0 0.085. From there, I just want to present the data for you here on a trading view chart. So if we zoom in, we can see this yellow line represents the average price for position 104, which was 0 0.0355. This blue line represents the average price for position 81 through 90, which was an average price of 0 0.052. And this red line, 
equals the average price of 0 0.085 for position 61 through 70. And then from there, we can zoom over here to the right just to see what percentage gain those would each be for the position 104 from where current price is at the time of making this video, which was just around 0 0.017, that'd be about 108% gain. Uh, the position 81 through 90 would be about a 205% gain. And then if it were to go all the way up to between 61 and 70 from where price is now, that would be about a 400% gain. So then to finish out, what is my personal prediction for this bull run for the price of Jasmine? Well, I'm a man of averages, as I mentioned in all my videos. What I do think with retail coming in at some point that may have bought in Jasmine the last cycle and have been holding on to it, praying for higher prices, I do think it could reach at some point around position 75, as I've indicated here in green, which would give us an average price of about 0 0.065, which from where current price stands would be about 282% gain. Now I realize that's a bit on the conservative side and probably a bit of a downer for some of the, those of you that are holding Jasmine, but if we go back over here to coincodex.com, which is a site that I use just to look up what the price prices were at the end of last bull run, or at least when the total three or the price of all of altcoins peaked or when Bitcoin peaked. And Jasmine at that time was at position 113 with a market cap of just over a billion. But the key here is it only had 4.75 billion coins in circulation. And if we go over here to CoinGecko where we started out at, we can compare that to what now is right around 50 billion. So basically it's went up by 10 times as far as a circulating supply, which means that the coin would need to go 10 times its previous price at that point just to reach the same market cap. Just to put that into perspective one other way before we finish the video, if we were to take its all-time high or just round up to what was close to its all-time high of $5, we could actually times that by the circulating supply or that max supply of 50 billion. And that's gonna give us a projected price or a projected market cap, sorry, of around $250 billion. Now, if we come down here and zoom into the price of Ethereum right now, which is about $3,000, we can see that the current market cap of Ethereum, the number two coin in all of crypto, is around 371 billion. So basically for Jasmine to get up near its price of around $5, again, this bull run, it's going to need to be like a top two or three coin, realistically, which is just probably not realistic. That'll wrap it up for today's video. If you guys are enjoying these price prediction videos, do me a favor on your way out and please remember to leave a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. It's tea.